the memory and the celebration of 1956 as a historical event was always uh, full of conflicts, not only because of the competing uh, interpretations of experts such as historians and the survivors and, uh, and their own testimonies, which of course had their own symbolic force, but also because of the competing political actors who were trying to use it as a reference for their own self-legitimization. This is what we see also today when the current Fidesz government organized the 60th anniversary of 1956, um, in which um, basically they tried to create an overwhelming representation of their own political universe, so to say, the cosmology, if you wish, or the uh, ideological landscape as it appears in the government's um, presentation. My name is Gergő Pulai, I'm an anthropologist, and uh, our aim here is to provide you a sort of an overlook or an introduction to the symbols and to the claims for legitimacy, but also the protest against these claims for power and for legitimacy as it unfolded in the streets of Budapest during 23rd of October in 2016. So here we are at Kossuth Square. We may say it's the most central location uh, in symbolic terms of Hungarian nationhood, um, the central square of Hungarians, as it is sometimes uh, said, uh, from its uh, early beginning, from the early beginnings at the late 19th century, early 20th century, it has always been a central location for um, the self-representation uh, and legitimization of statehood and uh, government. But for the same reason, it has always been a major location of protest movements, uh, of making popular demands with regards to the state. That was the case also in the 23rd of October in 1956, when Imre Nagy, uh, the Prime Minister uh, of the Revolution, uh, delivered a speech uh, here uh, as a response to popular demand. But it is also the place uh, where all three Hungarian republics, the one in 1918, the one in 1946, and the one in 1989 was announced. We Magyarok a kommunizmust és a szovjet megszállást is túléltük. Ma felemelt fővel, erőnk teljében egy erős Magyarország magabiztos fiaiként állhatunk itt. A kommunista pártállamot megdöntöttük, a szovjeteket hazaküldtük, és kigyógyítottuk hazánkat a diktatúra szövődményeiből. Kitáruló világ, egyenes tartás, világos beszéd, tiszta tekintet és megnyitott szívek. Köszönet és hála, hogy mi erre építhetjük a jövőket. A szovjet birodalomnak is azért akadtunk meg a torkán, azért tört belénk a foga, mert ragaszkodtunk nemzeti eszményhez, összefogtunk és nem adtuk fel hazaszeretetünket. Ezért sem fogadhatjuk el most, hogy a mi közös otthonunkat, az Európai Uniót modern kori birodalommá alakítsák. Nem akarjuk hogy a szabad európai nemzetek szövetsége helyére egy európai egyesült államokat lépessen. 1956-ban, miután a szovjetek kivonultak Ausztriából, Keleti határainkon túlra akartuk tolni a vasfüggönyt. Bátrak voltunk, és benzines palackokkal is nekimentünk a szovjet tankoknak. 1989-ben nekünk 
kellett megnyitunk a határt, hogy a német a némethez utat találhasson. Bátrak voltunk, és megtettük, hiába állomásoztak itt a szovjet csapatok. És most 2015-16-ban nekünk kell lezárnunk a határt, hogy megállítsuk a délről özöllő népvárolatást. Bátrak voltunk, és So the demonstration that uh, had taken place here in Koshin Square uh, was quite conflictual because uh, in opposition to uh, the demonstrators there were a group of counter demonstrators uh, who were um, booing during the whole um, celebration and especially Orban Viktor's uh, speech um, calling him a dictator and uh, also calling the government a criminal one. Certain protesters, counter protesters, were holding uh, uh, pieces of uh, Nép Szabadság, the uh, uh, former main uh, journal of the political opposition in the country, um, issues of this uh, newspaper that was just recently closed down. Um, so obviously the freedom of press was a main issue for them. At the same time, uh, it's very important that um, uh, a lot of uh, Polish visitors, guests came to the celebration in the name of the old Hungarian-Polish uh, friendship that obviously has a lot of um, symbolic meanings and uh, references uh, with, uh, in terms of uh, today's political situation in Europe. Um, um, uh, Poles and Hungarians uh, in this sense appeared as the uh, real safeguards of Christian Europe. Uh, and as uh, Prime Minister Orbán Viktor argued, uh, they are also uh, keepers of this Christian uh, European heritage opposed to Brussels and an EU that uh, is uh, similar to the USSR in, uh, and uh, 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 aims to turn uh, Europe, the, nation, the Europe of nations, free nations, into uh, United States of Europe uh, and uh, uh, this way uprooting actually uh, such organic national communities as the Poles or the Hungarians. Uh, in the meantime, uh, uh, because of the presence of counter uh, demonstrators who were booing uh, during the event, there were many conflicts and uh, very uh, tense uh, interactions between the two groups. Um, uh, many of the people who were here to listen to uh, the Prime Minister's speech were calling um, uh, the counter-demonstrators uh, fools, uh, homosexuals, people who are paid by the Jews in order to, um, in order to, um, uh, to, to, to protest against the government and against this, uh, this national uh, celebration. In 2010, when uh, Orbán's Fidesz government came to power, the square went through uh, complete uh, reconstruction. The main principle behind the reconstruction was uh, to recreate um, the way in which the square looked like before 1944, uh, namely the Nazi invasion of the country. This was also a claim for a certain return in time um, in the sense that uh, the new governmental ideology claimed that from 1944, Hungarian independence uh, uh, was erased, it was all gone. Uh, meaning that from then on, up until uh, 1989, uh, Hungarians were not responsible for uh, events in the country in the sense that uh, they were basically victims of foreign invasions. Civilized világ híres demokrácia védelmezői lelkiismeret fordulás nélkül Sorsára hagyták az általuk biztatott szabadságvágyó Magyarországot. A harcokban 
Több mint 2600 magyar esett el, a forradalom következményeként csak nem 200 ezer honfitársunk hagyta el az országot. 1957. januárjától megkezdődött a kommunista típusú megtorlás, a forradalom részvevőit tömegesen börtönözték be, kínozták meg, majd sokukat kivégezték. Budapest University of Technology has an important place uh, in the history of the 1956 revolution. This is, this is the place where um, a student gathering uh, took place uh, the day before the beginning of the revolution. Uh, but it is also, in symbolic terms, an important location as uh, it is a place uh, that shows, uh, and it was also mentioned today, um, it shows that the 1956 revolution was a student initiative, basically, meaning not a revolt or a revolution of the proletariat. Um, it's also important that um, uh, the place and this uh, commemoration um, um, was focusing on the solidarity of ethnic Hungarians within and outside the borders of Hungary, uh, and particularly uh, those who were uh, in solidarity with the Hungarian refugees uh, who left the country in 1956 uh, and uh, who were mentioned today as friends of Hungary uh, outside the borders of the country. So we are standing in front of the House of Terror, which is a museum, or one might say, rather a monument, uh, which was established uh, in the first period when Viktor Orbán and his uh, Fidesz government was in power between 1998 and 2002. And um, as many argued, uh, it was already uh, uh, quite a quintessential representation of the kind of reinterpretation of the past uh, that uh, we can connect to um, the right-wing uh, government in Hungary. Um, the House of Terror actually offers quite a dramatic, one might say spectacular, uh, form of representation regarding uh, both the Nazi and the communist uh, period in Hungary, that is, the period around the end of the Second World War when the Arrow Cross was in power and then the communists and obviously it emphasizes the second one that occupies a much larger space uh, within the museum. Um, and what connects the two together is uh, the idea of victimhood, the idea of suffering under foreign um, invasion or foreign dominance um, uh, that have been taking place in these periods. And this is something which we can also clearly relate uh, to the discourse on migrants, as invaders uh, in the current contemporary the discourse of the Fidesz government, um, as we could also see it in the previous speeches uh, at the House of Parliament. <laughs>